hey fam welcome back to yet another video on my youtube channel uh if you've watched my previous video thank you so much for coming back and watching this one and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe please like please comment and switch on your notification bell button uh, the things you're gonna need are a fabric buttons thread pins measuring tape scissors and sewing machine or needle so this is my sister's old cardigan that she's not wearing anymore and if i'm not mistaken she bought it five years or six years ago So guys, as always, we're going to start by assessing whatever upcycle type of clothing to see what you are working with. Then you place it so you can start detaching everything and ending up with two fabrics. Mm -hmm. You know you made it. So guys, as you can see, I have a different jersey, but please don't get confused. I'm only using it as the pattern for the cardigan as I want it to sit or fit on me as this top because I really like it. So guys, I'd really like to apologize for how the quality of my video is looking like. I'm still using my phone to make the video, so I didn't realize that my camera was not clean. The lens of my camera was not clean. Please do forgive me for that, but let's get back to the video. So now we're going to use the back of the cardigan to make the sleeves. So you're going to draw your lines for the sleeves using the other um, jersey that I have, as you can see. And then you're going to fold it in half. So you're going to pin it where you drew the lines, put it properly, guys, and then cut it and then do the process again for another hand because i didn't do it here but yeah So as you can see we're done with both the sleeves so for now we're going to put them aside and we're going to focus on the front of our cardigan so we're going to use that jersey that i used before as you can see um, to measure and make proper uh, proportions because i want it to look or to sit on me like this jersey we're going to be cutting around why did i Unfortunately guys, I ran out of the fabric that I was going to use for my back. So now I'm going to really try and combine pieces of the fabric that is left so that we can make the back of the cardigan. And then we're now going to iron the fabric to make it possible to take correct measurements for the back. So now we're going to start by um, sewing the sleeves together with the, our cardigan. Now we're making the final product, guys. Now we're making the final product. Um, we're going to sew everything.
now we're working on the front of our cardigan and you are going to measure it in half so that the opening is not skew and fam this is your reminder to please 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 guys don't cut the back off as well and to subscribe so now let's try it on and see how it fits so that we can know where to alter or where to fix or whatever so now as you can see that we've tried it on and how it looks and the uh, the sleeves are really really short uh, it's really short but gay we're not gonna be defeated by that so now we're gonna um, try and alter come up with something but yeah we're getting there so you're gonna cut so now we're gonna use the um, extra fabric that we had so that we can extend the sleeves in style so we're gonna sew them together oh sorry guys we're gonna have to cut them into a triangular shape i'm not sure of the shapes but you're gonna see how i'm gonna do it as you can see yes so this is the product that we're gonna come up with on so now we're going to use the belt of the cardigan to make trims and cover up the sloppy cutting and all of that because we don't want that on the streets and yeah. Guys, we're going to do the buttons now and please measure before you sew your buttons. Make sure they are the same length and make sure the other side where you're going to have to cut the hole is on point with. So guys, it's a drum roll. So this is our final final product and guys it's so amazing. I didn't really expect this. But yeah, I need cock. Let's do the reveal. So there you have it, Foxy fam. Please do like, subscribe, and press the notification bell button. And I'm going to be posting, like, I'm going to be consistent, guys. I'm really going to be consistent. And please do follow me on my Instagram. I am Foxy Taco. 